keep a uh, yes. OK. Time. Hi, I'm Wataru. I'm from small town in Japan. So today, you can call me Nemo. Because I feel like a small fish in a big pond. I've been competing in coffee for 10 years. As a small fish, I've learned it's important to just keep swimming. The world of coffee is large, like the ocean. So I just keep learning and exploring everything coffee can offer. On my journey, I've discovered innovative tools and techniques. I've met many producers and consumers. Now, my friends, I love to connect with people who love coffee. By interacting with coffee lovers, by interacting with one another, people design tools, make new varieties and processes. They have the power to create change. Now, let's go have a coffee adventure with me. So today, I'm going to use three kinds of Panama Geisha coffee because I understand the individuality of each farm and by combining farm characteristics and I can bring about new interaction. So I call it interacting brewing. Bottom of the dripper, I put six grams of natural processed coffee to focus on beautiful colorful acidity made by my friend Pocho from Finca Nuguo in the Nascimento. In the middle, four, five grams of natural processed coffee to focus on huge sweetness, like lovely candies, made by my friend Kai from Janson Estate in Volcan. On the top, four grams of honey processed coffee to focus on elegant floral aroma made by my friend Rachel and Daniel from Hacienda La Esmeralda in Boquete. These three layers interact each other that emerge main flavors such as orange and strawberry and smooth mouthfeel. To achieve this target, four tools are needed. First is UFO dripper. Because the temperature in the thin coffee bed can be maintained at high temperature, thin coffee bed and this using triton material and this unique 80 degrees world ripper can sustain the high temperature. Also, high temperature water can directly extract positive elements and much more acidity and sweetness can, can be extracted by pouring at high temperature at first and second pour. Second is Sibaristo filter. Because it's fast flowing, the material results in the ability for oils to pass through the filter, resulting in elevated mouthfeel and flavor. Third, I'll do extract chilling at minus 79 degrees Celsius at first pour. Because ice rock is helping trap the aroma components that the Sibaristo filter allows to pass through further enhance mouthfeel and pushing sweetness. First, I choose the Meldorip in two ways. Because it helps me lower agitation on my third pour, resulting in improved aftertaste. Additionally, I designed these lit on my server with Meldorip, aerating my coffee, which will enhance mouthfeel and to highlight amazing aroma for you today. These are tools I've discovered on my journey. So let me explain today's recipe during my brew. So I use 15 grams of coffee, roasted seven days ago in Chicago. I ground one hour ago with 600 micron for all coffees. This will enhance flavor complexity. Total water, 240 grams, which is total hardness, 0 0.3 ppm. pH, 6.6. This will enhance flavor clarity. 
I'll pour three, three times at one minute intervals. First, I'll pour 60 grams. Second, I'll pour 80 grams at, eight, at 92 degrees Celsius at the same temperature as first pour. Third, I'll pour 100 grams at 82 degrees Celsius. This combination and pouring my target TDS 1.4. Okay, judges. The first impression with this coffee is going to be aroma. Please write down. Aroma is medium high intensity. You can find jasmine, orange blossom. Take a moment then, you can find dark honey. Next flavor. You can find ah, medium high intensity. You can find jasmine, orange. As coffee cools down, you can find orange, white peach, and strawberry. Aftertaste is medium. You can find orange. White peach. As coffee cools down, you can find white peach and red apple. Acidity is medium. You can find orange. As coffee cools down, you can find strawberry. Sweetness is medium high intensity. You can find orange, white peach. As coffee cools down, you can find orange candy and strawberry. Mass feel is medium. You can find smooth and round. As coffee cools down, you can find smooth and syrupy. Okay, judges, please enjoy aroma directly from the server. At first, you can, fa you can find floral aroma. Please enjoy. After my presentation, Please evaluate taste directly from my favorite MK cups. Please enjoy aroma. Thank you for waiting. Please enjoy my favorite aroma. Enjoy. Okay, judges. Would you swallowing five times? Please enjoy again aroma. Please, five times. You can find sweet dark honey aroma this time. Okay. How was the aroma? May I? Okay, the world of coffee should be ocean, and we should be keep swimming. Through meeting coffee, through me meeting coffee lovers, we repeat passing each other and inspiring each other. I keep on learning that adventure expands the new coffee world beyond that. This coffee just right in front of you is beginning of new coffee world beyond that. Let's just keep swimming and enjoy. Enjoy your time.
Thank you.